Another episode, another Mike and Friends DVD commentary, or wherever the hell you're watching this on. I mean, if you're watching this on YouTube for free, yeah, it's official. You'll see it on the Bob Austin Animation YouTube channel later on, so, along with the other ones. Like, you're... anyway, welcome. I'm joined with it's me, Mike Mormon. I'm joined with Connor Wenneman, my best idiot buddy. Hello, folks. And we're watching episode 31. What Mormon want? Yes. Oh, what a majestic, majestic view. Look at that. Oh, mercy for mercy's being, along with our enemy, Dorian Anthony Trailer. That traitor fuck. Yeah. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about this. True, true. So, this is our Valentine's Day episode. Yes, yes it is. And this is also a parody of the... 2000s romantic comedy called What Women Want from Paramount Pictures. Oh yeah, that's right. Mm. I've never seen that film. Well, you're missing out, buddy. You're you're missing out on a lot. It's, it's about telepathic powers, which you'll see in a moment with me. How did I get these powers? It is a blessing and it's a curse. With great power comes great responsibility. I am Spider-Man. Gotta go fast. <laughs> go fast. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Quoting Sonic the Hedgehog? What does Sonic have to do with Spider-Man? Ah, never mind. I don't really care. Let's just continue. You only got like 10 minutes to go. At the latest. Yeah, we do have 10 minutes. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm getting got into a little bit of a heat, heat wave. Got into some heat with Missy over me thinking about Valentine's Day here. Yeah. <sighs> Look at that. Last minute gifts. Look at that. Hey, I've been there before. What? The last minute store? Yeah, I've been there with my dad several times. Oh. He can be quite the, um, bargainer, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I see what you mean. Also, Ren and Stimpy reference. They're stuck at the pound. Oh my god, you see? that? That's what, that's what I said earlier. I got hit by a... I got hit by a donut shack truck. You work there! That's right, I do. Oh man. See, this is where the telepathy overtones come into play, so... It's where the telepathy in the story comes into play. Hey, I don't recognize that doctor anywhere. You remember that time we, we had diabetes? Oh yeah, that's right. We had that doctor here before. Yeah. Also, her, the, her head man, her doctor had been disappeared after the first shots. She was. Uh, perhaps she took it off. Maybe. <laughs> Foreshadowing. What do you mean by that? Well, you saw her wallowing on the bench earlier in the episode. During that panning shot. The opening panning shot. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Apparently someone wanted to add that as a little Easter egg. That's so, that's so damn based. Yeah, based indeed. Oh, yeah, I did do that. I mean, can you blame him? He wanted to... You could have just woken her up, stupid. You could have just woken her, woken her up. So just leaving her in the dust, like you always do. Or used to. Whatever. Bingo! Got an idea. I'm going to spy on my own girlfriend, because why not? I don't know what that black screen was for right there, but... Damn, it must have been a technical issue. It wasn't like this before. Whew! Love how you dropped your binoculars. Yeah. Oh, so who pissed on our front lawn? Seriously. Why is it every time we... Why is it that every, time, every year when it snows, some dog keeps pissing on our lawn next to our snowman? 
Seriously, that, 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 this happens every fucking year. I don't know why this happens. Oh, I love your fucking cutie mark, Mike. It looks, it looks, it definitely fits your handsome face, you know? Yeah. Also, there's, uh, there was also going to be a Chris Chan reference in this scene, but uh, a few of our, our closest peers told us not to put it in because we... They didn't want us to think we were justifying his um, actions of following the motherfucking of 2021. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, I'd rather not. Yeah, so... The, the reason why we wanted to include him is because of that GameStop incident back in 2014 where he went all batshit crazy over one design change of, because of that Sonic Boom video game that was out at the time. With, with Sonic's arms being blown to tan... Uh, Beige, whatever. So, he went and ha vandalized the Sonic Boom displays and all. And, or whatever, what he did. He was trying to revoke his band there, I believe. He was there back in Boxing Day 2014. And, it turns out that he was pissed about not being let back in. And he left, not before saying, Don't come! Anybody <laughs> and facing the manager in, in the face of the process right before leaving. Damn. Now that is some badass Christian attitude, if you know what I mean. Yeah, a badass little cow. Who'd have thunk it? Moo! Moo! Alright, cut it out. You're starting to. Yeah. I don't want another ear rape incident just like mm, that word. Okay, I'm sorry. Also, do you seriously need to eat all that fucking McDonald's? I mean, you eat it every single time I encounter you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> mm. <sighs> um, my hands apple hurts. Maybe you should have moved that loud, dummy. Just because I said lol cow. Uh, also, the, the associate production music or the production music used in these um, episodes, yeah, since we can ha find a natural composer during these um during this time, like we have a composer now. His name's SRS Official Music. He composed a new intro for us, which will be on episode thirty three. Th thirty three birthday cruise coming soon. When as a September 2023, it's yet to be released, so. Also, Curry Jewelers is a, obviously a parody of K Jewelers, by the way. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Oh, that's real good. Connor, can you let me talk? Sorry. Also, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Well, shit. I forgot what I was about to say. Well, why has this happened to you? Well,. Yeah, SRS Official Music is our new composer now. Used to be Stan Blank for an episode you'll see and do a commentary of later on. We'll talk about this later, but... Oh! How come no one told me there's a Dong Shack location at the mall? How come no one told me there's a Nickelodeon store? I see Spongebob on the front. Yeah, apparently that's a work in progress. Also, Baby Yoda at the Disney store, right there, you'll see in the moment. See that? We still have a Disney store, and basically, Baby Yoda being there, or Grogu, whatever the hell his name is, that's obviously a reference to the Grogu, to the iconic new Jar Jar Binks character, Grogu. <laughs> Jar -Jar Although, Binks. Jar Jar Binks is way, way worse. I mean, Grogu's in the new hit of Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously we got some prior placement here. There's prior placement over the goddamn place in this episode. Cause why not? It's not like we're gonna get caught by the um, CEOs of each re re restaurant we represent on here. <laughs> oh God, I hope we don't. <laughs> <laughs> and we have we have a Taco Bell reference. Also, earlier in the episode you saw Taco Bell located right next to the restaurant. That was based on an earlier gag in the, um... That was based on a visual gag we did in the Christmas episode, Christmas Shenanigans, back in Season 1, where... 
We had a Taco Bell located next to the restroom in case anybody wants to take a diarrhea dump in the, um, right after eating Taco Bell based on that little, based on that rumor that Taco Bell gives you the shits. <laughs> the worst type of shits. The diarrhea shits. <laughs> of course, we got it. It's not a, it's not an episode without an apology scene for what we did wrong. Preach, Mike, preach. <laughs> you said every single goddamn episode of this show. Yeah. Are you getting tired of those? No, I'm just saying in general. Well, I am getting a little sick of them, but... Also, since when CityWalk moved to, um, Winston? I hope you didn't offend any Chinese people. God, I hope not. We're not racist people. We, we promise. Also, we have a vape shop. We have a vape shop in the mall right next to J.C. Penny for some odd reason. Yeah, I wonder why. They want people to fucking vape. <laughs> they want people to vape. Oh look, they still. Yeah, well, love that little. Love how we still bladder in that shot. Whoever animated this was must be so based. Also, there unfortunately we have like a little error with the calendar. I, Valentine's Day is supposed to be on Sunday in this episode, but it's uh, it's represented to be on Monday for some odd reason. I mean, it's a little continuity error, but what do you gotta do? Rant about the rant about us on YouTube? Go right ahead. <laughs> okay, that's the end of this commentary right here. Yeah, unfortunately, we had, we, had, we were we were gonna have more to say, but we ran out of time. Okay, happy play Valentine's Day. To those who are watching this, sir, I'm down to say or not, but anyway, yeah, thanks for watching.